We are back in Forza Horizon 5, and this week we are unlocking the Honda Civic CRX Mugen. I think Mugen's in the name, I forgot. It's not like giving me a lot of information, but to unlock this Honda Civic, all you need to do is get two, um, 200, uh, 22 points in this week's festival playlist. All you need to do um, is just, you know, a couple events. Not a lot, surprisingly. Especially compared to last week where we had to do 26 stuff. <laughs> um, but um, the easiest things you can do is do the weekly Forzathon challenge. Um, the event lab, that is easy. That, that race is literally you by yourself. You can just take whatever you want. Um, you can um, also do one of the championships. That will definitely help you with your points. And if you didn't do your monthly rivals last week, you can do it now to get your uh, four points. Um, all I have to do basically is complete this speed trap and jump off a volcano and then we'll have our Civic. So let me upgrade this Ferrari. Also, I do apologize for any FPS drops. I just got a new TV and for some reason it doesn't like it too much. Because, okay, so I, I finally upgraded from 1080p to 4K. Um, and it's amazing, right? But, I, it, the, my PC doesn't like playing games at 4K. So, I'm running this all natively 10, um, like at 1080p. I've like set the resolution at 1080p. I set the game resolution to be the same. But, for some reason, the performance is worse than when I was running it on a native 1080p dis dis display and not a 4k display that's being you know set to 1080p so the weirdness is happening i feel like it's windows 11 maybe <laughs> the problem shouldn't exist especially when you're like putting it down to 1080p but like i don't know my screens well so maybe i'm wrong did i buy that there we go now it's max S2 class. I mean, max S1. Uh, I don't like putting ugly things on my Ferraris, but we have to, unfortunately. Uh, let's put some slick race tire compound on. And boop. I'm not building this to be used in a race. This is literally for the drag strip, so I'm just putting stuff on. If, if I sound like I'm I'm not talking to the microphone, it's because this TV's kind of big and I'm looking up. That, that's literally what's happening right now. I'm gonna put drift uh, differentials on because that's like the best different, differentials to use if you're running all-wheel drive. It like basically makes steering easier. I'm gonna put some race stuff in here. Blah blah blah, lighten the heck out of it, and then balls to the wall upgrades. Don't think I even need to upgrade it this much, but I did it anyway. Who's gonna stop me? Okay, this doesn't even reach max of S2 class somehow. Uh, I, I, I'm, I, I'm not, I'm, a, I'm very iffy with Forza's for Horizon 5's new PI system. Back with like back with Forza Horizon 4, uh, you could pretty easily determine what upgrades you needed to do to get it to max of a, a class you wanted to do. So if you wanted to like A class, uh, S1 or S2, like you could figure out what um, upgrades you need to put on fairly easily. This game, if you were to even max out a car. There is a pretty good chance that you won't even max out like S2 class. And it kind of hurts. Not hurts, but annoying, I would say. Boom. Easy peasy. Okay, so now I'm gonna go climb that mountain. Let me get into one of my best rally cars. I'm gonna go climb a mountain. I'll probably edit that out. As 
it probably as well. What is that noise? It's been driving me insane. And it's only like on off-road vehicles, like anything that's using rally springs, I think. It makes that weird squeaky noise. Kind of annoying. It did it again! Okay, what did you want? You want a... Stop it. A-class classic muscle. I have one of those. Performance A. Classical muscle. Here we go. Hopefully it puts me on the right road. Look at how I upgraded this thing. It looks hella nice. It's supposed to be road. Okay, let's see if we can even get whatever the requirement is. This Mustang is now a write off. 350. Did we do it? Come on. We didn't! What do you want from me, game? 375, okay, I need to go way quicker, I got 350. I need like 25 more meters. Oh my god, look at all those errors. Yeah, it's my VRAM. I bet this is because of my VRAM running out. I need to turn down some things. Alright. Faster. Let's go. Three seventy five. That was worse. gonna use a straighter path. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna do the photo challenge. I probably should have started with the photo challenge, but I like jumping off things. I don't think this was a straighter path, honestly. Come on, come on, come on! Alright, this... I think my Mustang is too slow. So, we're gonna do the photo challenge. Okay, uh, cars, modern rally, so I'm gonna use my... Lancer. Because that's a modern rally car, isn't not? Hold on a second.
All right. Taking a swim. Let's go. Promo quick shot. Let's go. Not even going to save this. There we go. We have our Civic. Woo! Clay me. What shall we do with said Civic? Okay, I'm gonna go home. Hmm, yeah, that's a lot of VRAM being used. <laughs> Alright, Honda. Let's go to Honda. Here we go. <gasps> Here it is. I've got like two NSXs, but one's the GT. <laughs> Alright, let's take it a- um, give it a good drive. It is a CR CRX Mugen. It, it's in the name. I knew it. Let's do a lap in it. Oh my god, this actually sounds really good. VRAM errors are getting worse. <laughs> I should probably quickly end this video. Let's give it an upgrade and then we'll do one race and then I'll end the video because I think I don't want to kill my graphics card because of the VRAM. Uh, I wasn't going to change that but I am going to add a turbo. Uh, let's see. Wow, just putting that on gets us to A class. Nice. Okay, going to put some... Oh, this is rear wheel drive. I don't want rear wheel... I mean, it's a... <laughs> I said the wrong words. It's front wheel drive, but don't want front wheel drive. Let's go with rear wheel drive. That's so much better. Okay. Fat tires in the back. We're gonna keep this A class. We're gonna put drifts of diff in it. That's the best. Wait, was drift good for rear wheel drive? I think it was. I know it's good for all wheel drive because it like puts on the perfect settings. Hmm. Eight's good enough. We need more power though. Uh better better fuel. And cooling. And can we get away with... Ooh, yes. Sport flywheel. Let, let's go. Probably should do some custom tuning. Uh, okay. It's 3.39 is the thing. I think I made it worse. No, it's about the same. I should probably fix this. There we go. And do that. Get a bit of speed out of it. Put a bit of toe on. Uh, put that down to 80. We don't need that much. Yeah, that seems fine. Yep, that's good. Uh, check car collection as well. Uh, designs and paints. Uh, let's check painting. Ooh. Multiple paint groups, eh? Okay, so we can paint the main body. Does that mean paint group 2 is in a line here? 
Yay! Look at that. That's so cool. Okay. What do you got? Do you have advanced? No. Do you? No. Do you? No. And you always do. Do you? No. And... We can do tending. Hang on. Did we always had? I don't use this often, but did we always have window tinting? <laughs> or was that the crew too that was the one that doesn't have window tinting? Hmm. What did people make? Oh damn. Those are some nice looking... Hmm. Impressive. Okay, let's do the racetrack thing. Apologies for this being a quick ending video, because... That, look at that. That worries me. All of that worries me. <laughs> I am surrounded by it. Okay, where are all the races? Isn't there a race here? Oh, it's back here. Turn around when it is safe to do so. In 400 meters, turn left. Turn left. arrived at your destination oh my god it's spreading look at the leaves on the palm tree <laughs> ah okay all we had to do is survive this race and then I can turn down the settings to like ultra I'm probably going to go look at Digital Foundry's settings and then work off that and see what's the best for performance while looking good. Like, I'm running a 3070, but something's up. Like, VRAM usage is getting used pretty easily. To be fair, 3070 only came of 8 gigs of RAM, while an Xbox Series X gets like 16. And any Radeon graphics card, 16. So it may be at a disadvantage on v Okay, we're in third. Let's see if we can get into first at least. Catching up. Oh, sorry, I'm not doing too much commentary right now. Oh, come on. We're the better CRX. Hey, look at us. Oh my god. <laughs> my car just had problems.
I guess this is a good build if I'm absolutely destroying expert um, AI. Hmm. That makes me wonder. But this handle's really good as well. Like, that corner. I kind of tend to slam into it sometimes, no matter how fast I'm going and how much I slow down. I'll hit that because of understeer. This car doesn't understeer that much, and it's amazing. bunched up together as well. If you're like not a fan of JDM cars, I would still suggest getting this car. It is well worth the time and effort. It just handles so nicely. Look at that corner. Super smooth. Oh, that was great! I love this! Got a 1 minute 14 as well. I did the fastest lap as well, and I am proud of that. still loading while I can hear the surrounding all right yay we're we're back okay we're on the hunt for errors there we go found them already I can't tell if this is the game doing it on my graphics card because it goes away once you get close like what's going on here Okay, I'm going to end off the episode now so I can uh, let my graphics card live because I'm scared now. Uh, I will see you guys in my next episode if my GPU survives. Bye-bye!